Friends, this is an unedited surgery. This is fecal emulsification of a cataract with grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis. You can see this is the main incision. This is a posterior limbal incision and you can see that the blood is oozing out of the capillaries. This is viscoelastic substance. In this case, I am going to use only one side port. And I am going to use the Simco cannula, not by manual. This is the side port on the left side of the main incision, which will be used for the chopper. And now, this is the cystitum. The anti-capsule is being incised and a flap has been raised. I use a uterator forceps to hold this flap. I'm going anti-clockwise and doing a rexis, continuous curvilinear capsular rexis. That's it. It is done. Once capsular axis is done, now this is the time to do hydro dissection. Hydro dissection is done with ring lactate or BSS. Fluid wave is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim. I advance a little bit towards the equator. This is not good, so I go to the other side. Now the fluid wave comes to the other side. Hydro delineation has also been done, and we can see a beautiful gold ending in this case. Dispersive viscoelastic substance is again used. Now is the time to enter into the eye with the tip of the FACO handpiece. Here it is. This is Oatly Catrix 3 FACO machine. And here I reveal a secret to you. I use FACO energy in continuous mode, not in pulse mode. I repeat. I repeat FACO energy in continuous mode and use only when something is occluding the FACO tip. If there is nothing occluding the FACO tip, I don't use the energy. Thus, I prevent heating the FACO tip. One half of the nucleus has been removed. This is the other half. In this case, FACO energy was used. Uh, minimal FACO energy was required. FACO energy was about 55%. Flow rate was 45. Vacuum as 450. This is thick epinucleus come out. That's it. The case is almost done. Now in this case, since there is only one side port, I'm going to use Simco cannula to remove the cortical matter. I use a 23 gauge direct Simco cannula. It's a beautiful instrument. It is attached to a 10 cc glass syringe. First, the nuclear piece which was there should be removed. Otherwise, it can get lost underneath the iris. Here it is. Most of the cortical matter has been removed. Now, the subincisional cortex is removed in this way. Go through the side port and remove the subincisional cortex. The subincisional, the side port is little larger than uh, one millimeter. It is probably 1.2 millimeter. That's it. The Cortical cleanup has been done. Posterior capsule is clear. There is no cells. Little bit of polishing is being done. And now, in this case, I have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens, and it is being implanted under irrigation. The irrigating fluid will keep the antechamber formed, and the lens will be delivered in the capsular bag. Here, some more polishing is being done with a just by the irrigation. This irrigating fluid will wash off the cells. Now, this irrigating fluid is keeping the antechamber formed and here goes the intraocular lens. Friends, this is an unedited video done in five and a half minutes. That's it. Both the haptics have gone into the capsular bag. Now, the beauty of uh, uh, implanting the lens under irrigation is the antechamber is free of viscoelastic substance. Though there is some viscoelastic substance in the lumen of the cartridge, it is very minimal and it will come out during the final wash. Visco moxifloxacin has been injected just now. Now hydrate the only one sideboard that was made in this case. And now I am going to give the final wash with BSS. Surgery has been done under with ring lactate and now the final wash is being gone, given with BSS. What happens is at the conclusion of surgery 
what remains in the eye is BSS and everything is removed whatever moxifloxacin everything is removed and a final wash is given nothing at the conclusion of surgery I don't inject anything inside the eye and form the antechamber in this way your colleagues be very competent in surgeries give very good vision know your trade and here it is just before concluding check the wounds there should not be any leakage and these are the moxifloxacin drops thank you very much for watching